Hi, I'm Tyler and this is The Sharpshooter, teaching you valuable skills to make better videos. Today I'm showing you how to prepare your wireless UHF microphones for a recording. For this video, we're looking specifically at mics on the 500 megahertz band. Wireless microphones and most wireless technology in general use radio waves, often referred to as radio frequency or RF. The equipment takes a signal from a starting point called a transmitter, which basically screams the signal out as radio waves which travel through the air. And at the finish line is receiver, which is like a big ear listening for those radio waves. Interference happens when there's more than one transmitter screaming out and the receiver has trouble listening or deciphering the one signal it's supposed to be hearing. It's kind of like being in a crowded room with 20 people talking and you're just trying to focus on one conversation. Interference can do weird things to wireless mics. It can cause obvious problems like static and noise that you can hear or subtle issues like intermittent dropouts and weak signal. And the 500 megahertz band is tricky because your wireless mics are using the same type of signal that local TV stations are using to send their broadcast over the air. I've been on location where amateurs or professionals have had issues with interference and typically they try to fix it by playing a guessing game on which frequencies are usable. They'll randomly change a frequency on their microphone, listen for a second, and maybe think they're okay. Sometimes it works, they get lucky, but other times they may be picking bad frequencies that can cause problems later on in the final recording. Now you can spend quite a bit of money buying an RF spectral analyzer tool to figure out exactly what frequencies are being used in your local area, but it takes time, experience, and understanding of what you're looking for to use that kind of tool. Or you can do it for free, and I'll tell you, I've worked as a contractor for live sound companies and in broadcasting for about a decade, and this is how we did it. You want to go to Shure's Frequency Finder website, which lists any nearby TV stations that operate in that frequency space. There's a link in the description. Put in the zip code where you plan to use the microphones. And remember, frequencies in my location are going to be different than yours based on what's near me. Next, you need to choose a wireless series. And if you're not using a Shure branded microphone, it's okay. It really doesn't matter what you select. For the sake of this video, I'm going to pick the first series on the list, which happens to be the BLX. Now scroll below until you see the TV channels list. Click the link that says Show Frequencies. The left column that says Unavailable lists the local TV stations in my area and what frequency ranges they are using for their broadcast. I don't want to use any of those same frequencies. The right column shows frequency ranges that are acceptable to use, so I'll start there. And as a rule of thumb, try to space out the frequencies between the microphone pairs that you're using, especially if you plan to use multiple pairs simultaneously. Again, the link is down below in the description if you need it, and I recommend that you bookmark it for future reference. If you plan to travel and use your microphones in another location, remember, you'll need to change the frequencies again. I often travel for media production, and I still use this website each time I go to a new place to ensure my wireless mics work wherever I go. It's really helpful. I'm Tyler, and this is The Sharpshooter, teaching you valuable skills to make better videos. Thanks for watching.